Oh, hi everyone. So, my computer recently melted, and I think it's the CPU that went. So, I wanted to give you guys seven tips for making sure that your computer's working perfectly nice and cool. And you never know, these could actually help save your computer. So, as you can see, we um, I'm David Beck, uh, also Watorius. This is my dad, Pete. And we've got Sammy here, and we've also got Marley here, um, as you guys can probably see. So, yeah, with, it's quite a menagerie, I guess. I guess we can just jump right in. So, Pete, you want to read number one? Okay. Make sure your PC is clean inside, provided you know what you're doing. Absolutely. So, if you don't know what you're doing or if you'll void the manufacturer's warranty, then don't touch your PC inside. But if you can open your PC up and make sure that it's all dust-free and all nice in there, you can absolutely do that. And... One thing I'd also say is you can look at your PC fan, uh, your motherboard fan, and what am I talking about? CPU fan, and just make sure that the CPU fan is nice and clean and that it's actually calling your PC properly. Make sure all the fans are working in the PC. Absolutely. So one of the problems you sometimes have is as PCs get a bit older, the fans stop working. So absolutely want to make sure that they're all working. So again, if the manufacturer allows it, take the side of the PC off and just make sure that the fans are spinning. So, yeah. And make sure all the fans are working in the BIOS. Or turned up in the BIOS. This can be accessed when the PC starts variable speed. Absolutely. So there's when you start your computer, but you can usually press a key, such as delete or one of the F buttons, and a oh, goodbye, Sam. And this will make sure, this will basically show you a display of everything inside your PC, including the fans. If you can put them on a variable speed, this is perfect because you get a nice compromise between being cool and also being, well, when the computer's hot, it will turn the fans up and this should cool it down. Set a snowy winter scene on the desktop of VG. <laughs> Absolutely. So, again, entirely optional, but if you set a nice snowy scene, perhaps a snowman, perhaps a winter's day, this will kind of create a very special effect inside the PC, which will help keep it cool, perhaps. Or maybe it'll just keep you cool. We don't really know. Keep your room cool and maintain a good airflow. Absolutely. So if you're hot in your room, then your PC is going to be hot too. So make sure the window's open, that the door's open. If you've got air conditioning, I'd recommend you use that. Just if, if you're hot, then your PC's hot. So just remember that, guys. Avoid overuse of PC. Shut down when not in use. Absolutely. So I know there are some people out there who keep their PC running all, all night. You don't want to do this, ideally. If you, if you keep it running all the time, then it's going to cause heat damage eventually, or it's going to be more likely to cause heat damage. So when you're not using your PC, just shut it down, guys. Save the, um, save the environment. <laughs> and use heat monitoring tools that are recommended by the manufacturer. Absolutely. So there will be different heat tools for your CPU and your GPU, your graphics processing unit. So you can usually get heat tools by the manufacturer and they'll basically tell you what the temperature is. So yeah, that's all of the tips guys. And it seems like Sam Sam's back. Hi Sam Sam. You know what, he wanted to be on the screen. He actually recognizes dogs on the screen so maybe you can see himself, I don't know. <laughs> but uh, thank you guys for listening. I've been <clears throat> David Beck, this has been my dad. This has been Marley, the cat, and little Sam here. So yeah, thank you very much. Please like and subscribe, etc. And I'll speak to you guys soon.